Hello everyone. I have got an amazing headache, but I've got to do a rundown of how my day off on Saturday was. So if you want to take a deep seat, we're going to run through this. It was so much fun. I got up earlier than I wanted to, but I didn't get everything done that I wanted to. Um, I knew that my expenses were running a little tight, so I had to call the bank and just check a few things out. But at the same time, I knew I had to get up and, and think about the tire. I thought, you know, okay, I got to think about getting the animals safely to and from the vet because it's Saturday, right? I go outside, start the car up, and I see that the tire is at 23. And I'm like, I'm not driving on a tire that says 23. So I do the thing called State Farm for my roadside assistance. Only it took them an hour and a half later. But the man showed up and was like, you again? And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much me again. And he goes, what'd you do this time? I said, he goes, at the same tire? I said, no, the back one. So he went and looked at the back one and yeah, I saw the little spot in it. He didn't have his plug kit, he said, with him. So he wanted to first drive it to a gas station and then talked about driving to Arcola from what I understood. And I was just like, let's not drive it anywhere. Just put the spare on it. So while he's putting the spare on it, I'm noticing the time says, about, it's going for like 12.02, 12.03. At this point, I'm freaking out because I think I have enough time that the you know vet won't close until one. Something told me to call the vet after he finally got done, which was approximately 12.45. I said, I wanted to tell him, look, we're running late, but we'll be there. Please don't close is what I was wanting to say. And how come everybody you need is not open on the weekends? You know, when I was a kid, I can recall the vets being open until at least like four o'clock on the weekends. And then we had, you know, the, the auto places were always open on Saturday till at least like three in the afternoon. And, you know, it just blows my mind. Are they making that much money that they don't need to be open? That's my main question. I mean, our, last I checked, we're still in a pandemic. So why the world are you closed? Anyway... The SUV now is on the back burner until I can get a day off that they'll be open that I can pay for it the next day. The animals were supposed to go to the vet today, but because of them closing early, they're now on the back burner until my next day off, which is Thursday. The There was some good in this long blasted day, so let's cover the good. I got to see my work mom drop off all the books, which was the historical romance novels, the magazines, and she was overwhelmed, and she just said, thank you so much, and I was just grateful to give that to her, and I, as I always do with my uh, elders that I look after, I provide uh, a couple of cans of food and a, a dessert, but not baked. This was uh, Little Debbie this time, because I was just, I, I was exhausted, y'all, and I'm still exhausted. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but... One of the places I went shopping today, which was the only place, which was Dollar General, the girl told me, you do look exhausted. So I guess I look exhausted for what it's worth. Uh, but anyway, uh, Grandpa went into Walgreens tonight to get some pictures remade, and he's sending a picture to WCIA about his time in the Army that was featured in his newsletter of his uh, wartime newsletter. So he's pretty proud of that. Hopefully they feature it sometime on the news. We don't know if they will or not. Um, on top of that, um, nothing much to report came home. Uh, oh, I did a lot of housework in the front room today, re-straightening things up and pulling things out. But after that, I had to lay down from being all exhausted. Then I didn't want to get up when I did, but I did. And, uh, it's just been nonstop since then. And, um, oh goodness. I do have, uh, four relationship questions. And I'm going to work those for you tonight, give you my advice since I'm your sounding board. And hopefully you, you, you take it for what it's worth. It's just advice, you know. Everybody's got advice, so it's just what I would do if I was in your scenario. So um, that's all I'm doing tonight. I'm not singing again. Um, I'm hoping that by Wednesday I should be knocking on wood here, feeling better. And um, I can get back to working out. But uh, this illness is uh, nothing major. It's just female. And uh, I'll, I'll be okay. It's not life-threatening. So that's the main thing. And I appreciate everything in my day. you got to appreciate the good with the bad, right? 
Um, some of the good news is State Farm has not pulled out their payment out of my account. Um, but there was some bad, too. Bad would be we found some water in the basement, and we don't know where the water's coming from. I'm a little worried on that because it looks like it's either coming around the chimney area, the furnace area, maybe the wa hot water heater. I'm not for sure, but the hot water heater's new, so it can't be that. So, um... I am just really freaking out right now. So put some prayers up on that, please. Um, I'm freaking out on a lot of things. Uh, you know, since they had to add the support beam to the basement because of the front porch chipping off, which I'll never understand, but that's what they did. I've always lobbied for another support beam because that support beam goes only toward, on one part of the hallway. And there's a little indentation in the bathroom that kind of sticks up in the flooring. So I always panic, you know, when you have to go to the restroom in there because you're like going, okay, if there was another support beam, I wouldn't be thinking the worst, you know? So I just hope the best and pray the best for anybody that has to use the bathroom. It's like a life or death scenario. I hope you make it out alive. But that's the way that goes. Um, I did treat myself tonight. There was a plush throw down there at Dollar General. And I had eyed it last time, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to get it. If it's there next time, I will get it. So I thought maybe it's still on clearance. So I went up the front, and it was not still on clearance. But I, I thought, you know, it's $10. It's not that much. And I'm treating myself to it. So I decided to treat myself to a new throw tonight. Maybe I shouldn't have done it because I don't know how much the tire repair is going to cost. And just because they put the spare on, you know, that doesn't mean that it's, we're looking at a perfect situation. But and, and I'm so stressed about the, the whole car thing because even the guy who, who did the tire thing today, he was like, well, I may be seeing you for the other side if you repair this side. And I was just like going, it just feels at this point like I'm putting a Band-Aid on one area for another thing to go wrong on the other side now. So I don't know. But it is odd to me that the injuries of the car tires, if you will, is on the side that it got hit. I don't know if it's somebody from upstairs going, hey, you really should have traded and not put brakes on this thing. But it's a little scary, so I don't know. Um, anyway, that's enough of me talking tonight because I just feel like I'm rambling aimlessly. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do relationship advice next, so stay tuned. <laughs>